Hi, I'm Dr. Tuccio, the Chart Doctor, and welcome to Episode 4, where we're going to talk about Instrument Approach Procedures Flyby and Flyover Charting. First, what's Flyby and Flyover? As a reminder, a flyby waypoint is something where you can use turn anticipation. A flyover waypoint, you have to hit the waypoint before you actually turn. You can see here in the Instrument Procedures Handbook how the fly over waypoint has a circle around it using standard symbology. Well, what do we see on this chart? Can anyone find the fly over waypoints depicted? Well, you can't because none are depicted, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. You as a pilot are supposed to know when you look in on this chart that the missed approach waypoint is a fly over waypoint and the missed approach holding waypoint at Bison is a fly over waypoint. And same with Salisbury. On the right, that the missed approach waypoint is a fly over waypoint. And here, were you to come back and hold that Salisbury VOR is a fly over waypoint. This is a little clearer when you look at an RNAV procedure. Let's look at the RNAV procedure here. You can see that the missed approach waypoint has the standard symbology as a fly over waypoint. When we get to the missed approach, however, the FAA has not shown this as a fly over waypoint. Yet it is. A holding missed approach holding waypoint is always a fly over waypoint, as are any hold entries. The AIM makes this clear in section 1 117, etc., where they say the missed approach waypoint will always be a fly over waypoint. Then they go on to say a holding waypoint will always be designed as a fly over waypoint in the navigational database. However, the charting may be a little bit different. Let's apply this to a little scenario. Let's imagine we're here at Little Rock and we're coming from Dovka. Well, when we come from Dovka, we fly by Fexi, which is fine. We can do turn anticipation, and you've probably seen this in your FMSs. Of course, when we get to the missed approach waypoint, in this case, it's charted exactly as we'd fly it, and it's a missed approach um, waypoint is a fly over waypoint. Then when we missed, we go out to highs, Highs, even though not depicted as a fly over waypoint, it is, and you enter the hold as a fly over waypoint. Let's try this another way. Let's assume that we're coming from the northwest where we're going to have to do the hold in lieu of a procedure turn. Well, when you get the FEXI, you're going to fly over it before you start your hold entry course slash course reversal. You know this, you know this as a pilot, but it's not depicted that way because you could see now how that might cause confusion uh, because it serves multiple purposes. Then we come on in and the missed approach point and the missed approach holding waypoint have the same issue we just discussed. So across procedures, be the conventional or RNAV, you have to apply your pilot knowledge and understanding to interpret these charts and know what is flyby and what is flyover. Well, I'm Dr. Tuccio, the Chart Doctor. This was Episode 4 of Instrument Approach Procedures, Flybys and Flyovers. I hope it's helped you.